It's another another Thursday afternoon at Hack Engineering and it's time for us to do a bit of work on the imp. Well, I say time for us, actually everyone's already busy. Of course, I'll just grab the camera from upstairs and um, we'll do our little usual, shall we, and have a little wander around and see what everyone's up to. We're gonna head around into the machine shop where, uh, where Luke is busy doing something on the lathe. Hopefully we don't disrupt him too much. Oh, he's, he's mid cut, oh, he's doing a chamfer. He's almost gonna be finished. I'm not sure what he's working on. Looks like some little shafts or something. Maybe something through the engine box. I'm sure he'll turn the machine off in a minute and we'll have a little, we'll have a little chat. Hello. Hello, Luke. Hello, everyone. We are today cutting down some inserts for our poly bushes for our front oh. arms. Nothing to do with the engine and gearbox at all. Nothing to do with the engine and gearbox. So I poly bushed the rear arms that house the rear wheel bearings and trying to poly bush the front ones. As you can see, that one there is longer, so that needs to be chopped down by 4.2 millimetres because unfortunately they are too, they're, they're too big for us. So that one I've just taken 4.4 off of and I've still got that one and that one to go and it should fit up nicely into our mounts. Get nice. Get so they go in the suspension arms through the middle of the poly bush yeah, and no. I'm guessing the fact they're too long they just wouldn't fit in the brackets on the on the underside. Yeah, we, we've only got 36.5 millimetres gap between the brackets and these were measuring uh, 42.8, 42.7, and 42.9. Oh, how bizarre. So, uh, but luckily, we can, do we can turn else. them all down and get them fitted in. Right, everyone else is next door, so I'm going to head there and see what they're all up to. Hopefully that wasn't too noisy, and I wasn't just some lips moving up and down on the screen. Oh, there's an arm. So that's the arm that obviously Luke's been measuring up. That's where our poly bushes are going to go. Workshop Bert. Hello Bert, what are you up to today? Are you on upholstery? Do you like, do you like the Hillman Imp? Tell me, a, tell me a story about the Hillman Imp, Bert. Oh, so you designed the Hillman Imp. Is that true? Should we go see what everyone's doing? Come on then, come on. Bert's going to show us around today. Come on Bert. Please, no swearing. You're live on national television. Right, yeah, then we just need to go up or down. Let's come down. Right. Let's um, just hope the old HSE aren't watching this video this week. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You can get it on the mount. Yeah. Can yeah. come down a bit more? Uh, mm, so we've got the uh, car on the yeah, ramp. No we're going to head round to the bank yeah. where uh, where Luke's going to talk us through what's what's going on. Yeah, Currently oh, trying to mount the engine to yeah, the yeah. imp. And, um, yeah. Well, someone needs to do some talking. Talking. Uh, so we're putting this engine into the imp. It's really today. important to be sympathetic to the imp's originality and, you know, just Where's be really gentle with it. Jesus. Obviously, we're going to do it in your car. Probably do it, won't it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. What engine is it, Tate? A little quiz um, for Tate. Oh, it's a BMW, it's a BMW K100 16 valve. Oh, you good. Stolen the show. Yeah. Right, and what else have you been doing? How's our fuel tank looking? So we put that in the alkali tank, didn't we? Yeah, it is in the hot bush now, making sure we've got no more nice. stuff on it. So it looks like we're going to have quite a bit of space around the old motor, which is good. And room for exhaust pipes. Uh, one more. Yeah. I was seeing room for whirly boys. Whirly boys. Snails. Yeah. Yeah. Ben loves whirly boys. <laughs> ben, for the uninformed, what is a whirly boy? Um, it's a mechanical metallic item of boyish nature and whirly goodness, aka a turbo. Nice. Um, uh, right, what's going on behind us, Luke? Let's have a little fill-in for the viewers. Behind us? Yeah, what's going on up there? West We're Coast currently building a new office, which is going to have our filming studio and house our 3D printers. And so we're basically going to lock you up there. And um, you're not coming out until you've made loads of wicked parts. They're going to paint one more orange as well. Wow. The word wicked, that's one I've never used before. <laughs> Being on camera really brings out the idiot in you, Luke. That's what's, uh, 
Uh, right, well, I think we'll leave it there for this week's episode. Obviously, uh, everyone's pretty ups in in the zone in uh, getting the engine in. But I think the plan is obviously using the original gearbox. It's mounted up onto the. Um, I don't know if you call that a subframe, there's a, there's a sort of a bracket that's all powder coated up, so that'll be fitted in there, and then we're going to have to build some sort of some sort of brace that picks up off the original mounts, um, which will probably be done using roll, shoot, um, roll case tubing and a few other bits, and then I'm quite liking the idea, Luke, of you designing, like, a, we'll get it laser cut out in steel onto that brace, hack engineering, so you open up the, open up the trunk. Mega, well, we're, uh, we'll leave it there for this week. Say goodbye, all. Bye. Bye. Say goodbye. I said goodbye. Say you say goodbye. I've already said goodbye. I didn't see you say goodbye. I said I haven't heard Chris say goodbye. Goodbye. Come on, Tate. Put a bit more effort into it. Um, thank you for watching this week's episode of putting this lovely K100. 100. I'll tell you what, Tate. It's episode six. Here's a new job for you. You have to close up every video by telling everyone they should like the video and subscribe. Please like, subscribe, and if you feel like, turn the... And subscribe. Notes, and subscribe. Like, subscribe. And, like, and... Not like the subscribe, you've got to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, and please turn notifications on so you can get more awesome videos like this. Um, DM. Thank you for watching. Oh, yeah. I think we're, we'll have a couple of, like, a little competition. I think you smashed that. Right, go on, Luke. Sign us off for the week. Please like and subscribe and click that bell notification button. It was too quick, slow it down. Slow it down, you were panicking. Like and subscribe and click that bell icon to get notifications of our videos. Right, let's try one together. <laughs> just, the, together. just the two of you, yeah. If you could alternate words. Like and subscribe and click. The bell notification button. That's three words, Tate. You just completely stole out of Luke. You had a script. Did you stick to it? Each. It was one word each. That was definitely the agreement. Just, just go again. Like and subscribe. Still no oh, What? It's one word each. Like and subscribe and click the bell icon. Thank you. Four. Oh, okay. Four. It's just so fluid, it's gonna go viral. We'll leave it there, adios. I think you need to go.